come out here and uh, run this ball. He said, if you can't stop him, you're going to see it a whole bunch because he's not here to look cute. He's here to win. Suspect will be in the white. He'll get it first. FNB Monsu will be in the red with the gold pants. And here we go. First and 10. Audible set. Substitution set. That depth chart is where it is. And Donovan McNabb will start it off here for Suspect. In the pocket. And can't get away. It's an early sack. Big block shit there. 3-3-5 three, three, normal at a monster, which isn't something we are super familiar with seeing at this uh, high of a level competitively. A lot of people go more maybe to the 3-3-5 three, three, odd, a little more meta, a little more popular. I'd like to see what he can do out of the normal. Well, after the loss of five on the sack at second and 15. And what a spin move to the 43-yard line. Makes two defenders miss there. Just barely caught him by the shoestring, or else that might have been points pretty early. Ohio, Gets Ohio. him in a third and manageable here from the 43, Let's just go. shy Let's of midfield. Go. Now Monsta gives a look Ohio. as if he's blitzing off the right every time. You got to keep your eyes peeled. You can very easily mix that up and send heat off the side. Maybe one of those old school bleacher blitches where it's coming a little bit Flex further. Round. Round. Like now, blitz coming from the left. Steps in and throws, and it's can't be hung on there by prime time right through his hands. Early decision for suspect, fourth and four. Got to go. If you know this family, you know they're going for <laughs> it. The older brother of Chicago Bears representative. Yeah, oh, uh, Keynes. Keynes is in the city, but he's not in the building since he's one of the competitors. Can't get any competitive advantage here. Monster looking to confuse that left guard there. Fourth and four. McNabb. Quick throw goes right back to the same route, same result. And a drop. Sometimes you'd rather be lucky than good. Monster probably hears it more than most competitors for whatever reason. But all I seen was a stop. And let's see, can he turn it into seven? Yeah, back to back drops. Such a beautiful stadium. Right there in Santa Clara, California. Of course, my Clemson Tigers getting it done. You, you knew I was going to mention it uh, a, a, a month or so back. Finally beating the Crimson Tide for the second time. That was that was a woodshed game. I mean, he, they they really took it to took it to Alabama. I, this is me filling time while they while they set the rod us. It was definitely less uh, <laughs> competitive than what most people thought. And uh, you love to see the good sportsmanship there. They turn down of the delay game. Both players are making some quick odds. They're making formation right. substitutions. All right. You like to see the uh, sportsmanship there. Hey, some some let it slide. Others say no. Oh, I need the five yards. <laughs> they'll every they'll time. take the five yards early. A little bit of little bit of mind games. And there's Barry Sanders. He'll lose three. The toss. Brandon Sheriff is the uh, pull blocker there. I expect to see a little more 99 on the pull block. Aaron Donald. Let's see if he mixes that up to both sides out of this formation. Yeah, they go to Barry again. He'll get back to the original line of scrimmage. Maybe it gains a yard. So third and nine. Let's go, hey, let's go, come on. And you already see the different formations the Monster's using. He's been an under center. Now he's in a bunch with the tight end. He's been in a couple different things. Trying to keep uh, Suspect off balance here. What a matchup for a semifinal here already. This Blocks. Is, this is a loaded 49er competition here today. Just semifinal number one. We're going to see Niner and Samoa's finest in the next game, but what a huge sack. Just came off the edge, basically untouched. The legend Jason Taylor, one of the best last names in the business, I'll tell you that much. And you're going to have to do a little more paying attention to him or else he's going to have a field day off that edge. And here we are again. Most players just can't punt. <laughs> they, they can't. I mean, I, I hate to harp on it, but you're going for a, a coffin corner punt here and you end up Forced out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Just not enough Ohio. lab time. You, you can really tell the people who practice their special teams and the players that don't. So no Black harm round. done here for Suspect. He gets Ohio. it back first and 10 Ohio. now at the 26. His second time of the rock. And he keeps throwing that same route this time. Moss is able to hang on, and that'll move the chains out to the 40. 
hung on to it that time, but pay attention to that route because Lattimore was about a half a second from it. Let's see if he goes back to that. Or does he get a little scared after seeing that? Well, he's gone to the well three times in a row. Two drops and one near pick. First and 10. Great cross man there. As you see, he had defenders coming from the opposite side, anticipating crossing routes there. Just stayed a step ahead. The defense has looked very good for Mustafa so far out of this 3 3 5. Yeah, hit as he threw, and that'll bring up a second and 10. McNabb in the gun. He's got Johnson off to his right. Dion Moss and Jones in the trips. Julio across the formation. They try to drag him. Great job picking that up, and he's just going to throw it away. And a good throwaway there. A lot of players will try to force that corner out about 15 yards uh, further upfield. Instead, he just threw the ball out. You play another down, third and 10 there. These guys battling to see who's going to find their way Ohio. to the championship up at the EOR EA headquarters. Now in California, not too far from Santa Clara. Up there in Redwood City. Be our first time in the brand new Madden Studios. And we're going to have it third and ten. Third and ten when we come back. And when in these early games, in early battles, these guys haven't played each other a lot. But for Monster, he's been in this situation, trying to make it three in a row. For Suspect, you got to feel okay. Like, you know, the offense isn't going the way you want it to go, but you've had some, you've had a, a few nice completions. You had some, played some pretty good defense, but it feels like, especially on this drive, you got to go down here and, and put at least some points on the board, get some sort of momentum. Definitely. For someone who uh, tends to hang their hat on the offensive side of the ball, you've really got to stand up here and get points as early as possible. Um, I think one thing that's maybe throwing them off, Monster does a good job of having – safeties at linebackers in certain formations and then actually having linebackers at linebacker in certain formations. So you kind of keep them unbalanced. You don't know, okay, because the first thing you do when you come out on offense, you assume and you look for matchups and Monster's doing a lot of cross matching here. He's putting safeties on, manning up, and you really have to notice who's where to know if you're going to cross match or if you can just quickly snap the ball, take advantage of the backups, the power ups, usually the 68 overalls, and just run it down their throats. But uh, Monster's doing a good job of keeping him off balance and keeping different players out. You're there. watching Monster and Suspect right now. They're trying to move on. Here in semifinal number one to punch their ticket to the final. And then you'll have Samoa's Finest, who made his debut in this tournament last year against Niner, who desperately wants to win this tournament. But here we go. We're, we are getting ready to get locked in. Just moments away. We need to click off two more downs here. It's going to be uh, a third and ten uh, from near midfield for Suspect. And this is huge. We've seen only success out of him. Uh, from a few out routes, and I use the word success loosely, Grocery, because he had two drops and nearly threw a pick. The drops were almost the most successful routes he had <laughs> when he threw that because that uh, completed pass not, wasn't the most pretty pass we've seen thrown today. All right, as I said, third and 10 from the 40-yard line, 2.20 to go in the first. Appreciate you guys' patience, and we get locked in. Rare glitch in the matrix, and here comes a big third down. He went for it on... Uh, a turnover on downs on his last possession. Try not to repeat that here. McNabb in the gun. For one of the first times since we've seen him in this 3-3-5, he actually had a uh, linebacker lined over the top of Dion for a minute there. Wonder if that was a quick man up or what that adjustment was. We hadn't seen it. Boy, finding the open man. He throws the same route. And a, little, a little bit more delayed that time, Grocery on that route, but he's trying to attack that part of the field. The half a second went to about a quarter of a second there. Moss was just a step ahead of Slay, uh, almost like Moss became the defender there and knocked the ball away from an interception. Fourth and 10, and he's going for it again. The second time this game, he's went for it on fourth down in the first quarter. That's Hutzpah. Black round. Black round. Well, you, just, you feel a pick six coming if he keeps trying to attack that area of the field. Great snap from the D end. And there you go. It's a big time first down. And he's still going. And he's down at the 32 yard line. And you can see the relief on his face. Both of the DNs for Monster jumped the snap there. A quick step up in the pocket from Suspect. That 
was pocket presence. As soon as that ball was snapped, he stepped up. He noticed the pressure immediately. That's high-level pocket presence. So first and 10 from the 32. He'll hand it off to the inside, and maybe the running game is just what he needs right now. Let's take a look at that big fourth down again, Grocery. Just great pocket presence. Steps up. The only place he could go was step up, and still almost ran into a lineman there. Was just, just no room to move right there. Boy, Incredible. Really went at the user of Monster there, who was controlling Josh Jones and Johnson. Well, carry on Johnson leaning for the first down, and he got it. And you got to love that. He was hitting the backfield, turned a gain of nothing into a gain of four, and turns into a first down. That's the reason that man made that roster. If you can fall forward like that every time, you can play on my team. Ball to 22 now outside the red zone. This is as deep as either competitor has gotten on their drives. They go back to Johnson once again, and he'll gain a yard. Eight carries for zero yards. Now a little of that may have to do with the reset. Let's That's give true. him a little credit That's true. there. Thank you for th thank you for bringing me back to reality, Grocery. <laughs> I forgot about the reset. I've I get locked in <laughs> very easily. I was going to say I don't remember. I think those his agent would be a little bit more upset remember. about that than anything else. And I know my age is going up, but Ohio, Ohio. second and nine. Yeah, forget about the stats. And back of the end zone, one hand grab, and he'll drop it. High pass. Don't necessarily think he had to throw the high pass mechanic there. Uh, he had him beat by a few steps. Maybe even a simple pass lead to the outside, lead it towards that pylon in the back of the corner. He might have had a better chance there. Uh, I think he got himself caught up with that uh, high pass animation and took a hit he didn't need to. Couldn't make the one-hand grab for Moss. That'll bring up a third and nine at the 21. McNabb, quick throw to the outside. Boy, not sure why you throw that if you know fourth down's coming. It'll make it a little bit shorter field goal attempt. It's a 35-yarder. Ball marked at the 18, and the kick is up. And it is good, and suspect strikes first. And you've got to feel good if you're suspect there. If you look at Donnie Moore's Twitter poll, more than half the people that voted on it think Monster's going to win this. You finally go up. It took you two possessions. You have a chance to get a second stop. Suspect's feeling good about himself right now. Dion, prime time! Prime time's on the run! Can he get a... Oh, just tripped up at the 36. 49er fans are used to seeing old prime time, but a big time return, and that's why you don't see a lot of kickers kick it deep anymore. And about the only thing that maybe saved him from a touchdown there was no return specialist here. If he goes with the return specialist chemistry, he loses no stamina when he's running up the field there unless he wants a special move. And I think maybe that 10-cap, uh, 12-cap uh, chemistry may have given the difference between six points and a first down play. Well, we're seeing all kind of former 49ers. That was Terrell Owens that pulled it in at the end of the quarter. So three to nothing in favor of suspect, but Monster's on the move. So he's got to get this running game going. And he gets a block. Can't turn it upfield. A gain of two. A late line shift left suspect one-on-one -on -one with the lead blocker there. And instead of going after the running back, he engages the blocker, clicks onto the D lineman, and then makes the tackle that way. I really like the decision making there. Tries to go the up uh, against the grain there with Barry Sanders. Worth noting, if you're just joining us, Aaron Donald at a position at left guard. And so you're going to see the speed of Aaron Donald try to pull around that end. We'll see if that comes into play. Here's a big third and eight. Expecting him to go to the air. As time, Rodgers will be sacked. And for the first time this game, we see Suspect go maybe full zone. I do not see a single player manned up there. The field shrinks so much in the red zone that your actual zone defense has become a little more effective. Good play call there. 3-3. Three, three. He turns the 80-yard kick return into three points. So we got a tie ball game here. 4.08 remaining in the second. Scott Cole, grocery wrong with you. And a decent return to the 36-yard line, and that's where Suspect 
Maybe has shaken off the nerves here. I'm expecting a good drive out of him. Now it looks like uh, Derwin James has switched sides. He's going from right of screen linebacker, moved him over to the left of screen linebacker here. Let's see, does that also move the blitz pressure to the right so Derwin can play that side of the field? Let's see what he does. First and 10 at the 36. McNabb barking out the orders. Donovan, quick throw. This time it's completed and it'll be a first down at the 47. And that was just Moss being too fast for the cross man matchup there. He had Derwin James, that linebacker, man up on him. You can't make it all the way across the field there. Here's Johnson. Tackle. Carry on, get on your horse. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown suspect. Our first touchdown of the San Francisco Club Series goes to DNA suspect, and he has a chance to go up 10 3. It's good. Boy, they're trying to fight and see who's going to be the winner of the 49ers Club Championship. Club Series, what are you, you living in 2017? Where, where are you? Let's take a look at this again. <laughs> Just breaks the tackle there too fast. No one's going to catch him from behind there. Turns a beautiful broken tackle into a free six points. Good bounce out there, too. Instead of uh, trying to break the tackle and just keep going up the middle, went ahead and stumbled his way outside. Quality stick. Yeah, trips to the left. We'll hand it off to Barry, and he'll be gobbled up at the 43. Really hasn't got anything going in the running game. And just to piggyback off what you said, the uh, speed of Aaron Donald at left guard, he's also got tier three sprinter on this team. So that's a Barry with plus two speed. If I'm not mistaken, that's a 98 speed Barry Sanders. Well, he's quickly been tackled every time he's touched the football. And he goes to Julio. And he'll get it out past midfield to the 48. It's going to be a third and one. And you got to figure eventually that toss will go to the opposite side. He's been setting him up and tossing right, tossing right. If I'm suspect, I'm remembering the entire time that I've got to go manually guard this left side on these runs. He gives it to Barry. Coming in, Monsta was number 33 out of 128 in rushing offense. Um, so he can carry the rock. He's just had a tough time against this suspect defense. First and 10. And you would figure him to have much more success uh, running the ball. Not only is Monster 33rd in uh, rushing offense, but Suspect was 122 in yeah. rushing defense. <laughs> Almost, Almost last. Dead last. <laughs> and definitely standing up for himself this game. As you said, Barry Sanders has not been able to get off one run. Rodgers this time has plenty of time to find Julio Jones first down at the 34. 30 sprinters for that tier speed, to tier three speed. He's also got McNabb with a gunslinger. Took advantage of a couple different chemistries. Goes to Barry this time on the toss. And there's that toss to the left where he finally sees a little bit of success. You figure if you toss it to the right side as much as he did, you're gonna get one-on-one. -on -one. And he had no success even going one-on-one -on -one out there. So you go ahead and flip it to the left, to the strong side, and you pick up seven. And that's all because of that Aaron Donald character out of position at left guard. So you got a second and four now at the 27. Most promising drive of the day for Monster, trying to make it three in a row. Trying to represent the 49ers at the club championship next week. Want to be a part of that $7,000 prize pool. Of course, the winner of our club championship today will not only represent the 49ers, but they'll have 5,000 more reasons to be excited about representing their team. That's mine. Yeah. First and 10 from the 23 there, and another new formation it looks like. Adam Monster. He'll hand it off to Sanders, and he'll get to the 21. And you'll see Suspect use a timeout here with 91 seconds left in the half. He's got an idea about getting it back. Looking to get that ball back. Uh, you also uh, looking to get the ball back just so you can keep Monster from double dipping. Monster's going to get the ball after half there. And he has a chance to score twice unless Suspect can get the ball or get a stop. Rodgers, high pass to Amari Cooper. 
And fumble. Fumbles. It's a user strip, and it's a recovery by Suspect. I think that was Dion that might have picked it up. Nevertheless, Suspect's going to have it. Sean Taylor with the recovery. The greatest of all time comes through the backside and picks that up. Another broken tackle. This time leads to a fumble. Sometimes you get the breaks. Sometimes the breaks get you. And that's exactly what just happened to Monster. So can he turn points? Excuse me, turnover into points. You remember had a, a long run off a broken tackle last time by Kirion Johnson. Which just makes that play hurt Monster even more. If I'm on defense, the broken tackle goes for a touchdown. My broken tackle goes for a fumble. You can't get down on yourself here. Don't let the mental aspect take away from the physical aspect of your game here. Long way to go. Second and six. Great move by McNabb. And an even better spin move. He's got a blocker. And he doesn't want Julio as a lead blocker. He'll just go ahead and hang out, pick up his first down, play again. Well, suspect will use a timeout right here with 50 Steps seconds up. to go. You can see the move. Ooh, stepped up perfectly in that hole there. Spun even better. More and pressure from the left. Yeah, it's, it's a sack party in the backfield. A little meeting. It's J.J. Watt. Ends up getting to the quarterback. That's going to bring up a second and 12. Clock is on the move. 35 seconds to go in the half for suspect. And he's still got one timeout, so he's not as rushed as he could be. Still can go over the middle of the field and not have to worry about having to hurry up, spike the ball, anything like that. You always got to use a timeout on a sack. You got to use it right here. Boy, and maybe instead, he's thinking maybe about he's just gonna, holding it. Yeah, maybe just make it, let it be the last play, just bomb something up here at the end of the half. Not give a monster a chance to return a punt or anything like that. Yeah, you lose so much time when you get sacked. And he's going to throw it up underneath. He could, get a, he could get down quickly and get a timeout, and he will. And he tried to give himself up there, had his hand still on the turbo button, so it actually made his player attempt to dive, held on to the ball there, or that could have got rough. Ohio, he's going to have one Ohio. chance at a Hail Mary here. He's going to throw 50 yards, and uh, Randy is who I'm putting four people on here. And he'll just wheel it to the outside, and that's how... The first half will come to a close. 10 to 3. Suspect, the man on the far side of your screen with a seven point lead, but he's going to have to kick it back off to Monsta. And he after that lesson. last big return by Dion, he'll just sacrifice great field position at the 38. You've only got to put your hand on the stove once, right? 10 3 here. And I do like how. Um, conservative suspect was at the end of the half there. He knew Monster got the ball back. He didn't want to kind of throw any turnovers or get a chance at a sack fumble or anything like that. Uh, sometimes just holding the ball is better than chasing the points there. And I like the play calls. So second and seven at the 41. Trips to the left. Quick throw. There's Julio. will pick up the first down. That's at least something that Monster knows has worked well for him. Hasn't thrown the ball too, too, too much out of that trio. It's been more of the dive and toss combo. Good to show Suspect that he can't complete passes out of that. Put another wrinkle in that offense. Goes back up on her center again. Ball just shy at midfield at the 49. Trailing by a touchdown. Monster looking. If he's got time. Don't think he had time to plant his feet there. May have had a crosser. He knew he didn't have time to plant his feet. Gets rid of the ball. He had one-on-one -on -one downfield with Ronnie Lott guarding Cooper, but didn't have enough time to find him. Second and 10. Motion from Jones. They'll toss it out. Can he pick up a block? He will. Did you see Aaron Donald seal the edge there? That is just not fair. That should have been hit in the backfield. That should have been hit-sticked in the backfield. And Aaron Donald just set the pick that Carl Malone would have been proud of. Third and six. Right at the 47, needs to get to almost the 40, and there's that route again. Julio pick up the first down. Great job of keeping an underneath route over to those crossers. Suspect was worried about the dual crossers going higher upfield. Throws the quick in route there, first down. Hand it off here to Barry Sanders, who 
He's just averaging 2.6 a carry. But I have to remind you that we did have a reset, so your guess is as good as mine when it comes to the stats. Definitely. I think he may have um, I think he may have unfairly had about five carries for <laughs> negative five there. Over, 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 Nevertheless, over, he's got over, a over, second over. and eight here in the third quarter. Coltrane and Grocery along with you with ball at the 36-yard line. Rodgers, quick throw on the wheel. And Sanders just can't get loose. And I think he had a chance with a fade one-on-one -on -one there, decided to dump it off a little bit quicker. But I think he may have had T.O. one-on-one with a Troy Apke, I think, may have been in the game back there. There was a backup safety. Little motion by T.O. across the formation. And he'll go on a low throw to T.O. And there's a first down. Just doing a great job of making Suspect respect every part of the field. Uh, he's not relying on anything too much. Keeping Suspect off balance. This is a more balanced monster offense than he told me he would be in. So you got trips to the left. He'll toss it out again. Trying to get a block. And he'll move forward to the 25-yard line. It'll be a second and eight. Just two yards after two yards Fine. after two yards. Yeah, yeah this 4-3 odd has not given up anything, especially when it comes to the running game. Rodgers looking, rolling to the left, and he'll just throw it away and live to find another down, and it'll be third down. And suspects coming out in 4-3 odd, then moving it over to the 4-3 normal, which gets those... Uh, He's got the backup safety package, I believe is what he's using at an odd, to get the uh, safeties at linebacker, then give it to a 4-3 normal look to actually get into the defense he wants to run, but take advantage of a package that's not in there. And there's Julio, he hangs on, and that'll be another first down. It's 10 yards at a time, look at that again. And just holds on to it after the hit stick, which is all you can do there. You hold RB, you pray to whatever deity you like the most, and you hold on to the ball there. Ball at the 15. Rodgers will slide down, gain a two, and we're gonna have a second and seven inside the red zone. And what you'll notice here when it gets into the uh, red zone, not only does controlling your middle linebacker take away the middle of the field, but you also get to work as your own spy and you don't have to worry about putting an actual spy on the field. Touchdown. And Barry finally breaks one, puts six on the board, has a chance to tie it up. You never want to give these extra points away early in this competitive man. Uh, it's up and it's good, 10-10. And maybe surprise him, one of the first times we've seen Barry go to the inside. You figure with the way this team was put together, he would be behind Aaron Donald a little bit more. Rely a little bit more on the uh, pancakes instead of the lead blocks. And so suspect in a tie game, he'll get out of bounds at the 33-yard line. With 104 to go. This is just semifinal number one. We have Niner and Samoa's Finest coming up next. Of course, winner of the whole thing is going to represent the 49ers take home 5K today and punch their ticket to the club championship. It's happening next week, January 30th, was when they, they get it all kicked off. A hundred grand going to the winner. And, and really the top eight is taking home five figures, taking home more than 20 grand. I shouldn't even say five figures. 20 grand or more for the top eight. So if you get to the quarterfinals, you're in some serious cash. That's right. Never forget the uh, top two at the end of that tournament also guarantee themselves a spot in the Madden Bowl. Guaranteed seats if, as long as you are a finalist. And one of the toughest tournaments of the year. Look at this again. Sneaks it into double coverage there. Holds on to it after the hit. My goat, I noticed. You're a Jerry Rice guy. I'm a Randy Moss guy myself. Well, I mean, I'm not besmirching anything Randy Moss has done because he's the best deep threat in the history of the NFL. But Jerry Rice, come on, bro. <laughs> if Jerry Rice only ran goes like my man Randy did for most of his <laughs> career, it'd be a little different. 
you know, Jerry didn't get to play with uh, Chris Carter either, I can tell you that. Uh, as Dion gets down to the 34-yard line. Of course, Walter Payton's my greatest of all time when it comes to a football player, but Jerry Rice, definitely the best on the outside. More of a, more of a Tebow guy myself. Never heard of him. Here comes the fourth quarter. <laughs> Five minutes to go. I don't, I don't follow a lot of minor league baseball. No, you're not, not, a, big, uh, <laughs> not a big Syracuse Mets fan. Okay, all no. right. Tied up at 10. Five minutes to go. It's been a stingy ball game for two competitors that are really, really good on offense. Suspect with the ball. He's in the white uniforms. Monster in the home reds. Representing the 49ers. And Julio will get it to the 27. And we're going to see a second and three. Both players taking advantage of the quick ins, the quick slants, everything to that left side of the field. It seems to be what most players are most comfortable with. You see the replay there. You've seen it from both those players. They like to get that quick beat off the corner, get some inside position, pick up five or six. Especially when it comes to Julio Jones, some of the best hands in all of Madden football. And this one's deflected and nearly Ooh, intercepted. B Doc. Just barely. And that's when your, your throat closes up a little bit after you throw that. You, you just feel your tonsils swell automatically. It gets scary it when that ball gets tipped. Not to get three here. You're trying to break this tie in a 10-10 ball game. Flex round, flex round. Flex Mentioned round, this is just the first round. semifinal here for San Francisco. Cut. Samoa versus Clean. Niner coming up next. And that's Julio once again. First down. For the first time, maybe all game, that right side came clean. The guards have been doing a good job of picking that up. I think he may have slid him off the line. Just a little extra there. You see the pressure come in. Doesn't rattle months. Doesn't rattle suspect, excuse me. Right over the middle for a first down. So a new set of downs. Ball to 21. Just outside the red zone. Four minutes and change to go in this ball game. And sacked up that'll push him back to the 29 as Josh Jones got in there and he sent him he was not originally blitzing on that play I believe he may have been manned up on the running back or maybe even in a uh, soft zone there maybe a three wreck and suspect or monster decided it was time to send him and it pays off as he comes up the a gap you know, just click in on the right stick and a nice job by monster to push him back to the 29 second and 18 now Moss comes across the formation. And back-to-back -back sacks. Just too much pressure from Monster right now. Sends it from both sides that time. Just doesn't want you to be able to get off. Gets a block shed from the left. Gets the blitz from the right. A big third and 20. Suspect hasn't been in this situation all game. Side just to hand it off, and I think that's smart. Get yourself in a manageable field goal situation here with 3.10 to go. It's going to be a 41-yarder. As a lot of players have, Dan Bailey. When you start getting that, in that 50-plus range, yeah. uh, you start to get real nervous with Bailey. Yeah. Now, out of the 49ers group here, Suspect is the only competitor with a 10-cap kicker, as he mentioned there, the 10-cap Bailey. Um, every other competitor went with at least an 18-cap kicker, which is normally going to get you three to maybe four more kick power, which is going to allow you to get to the 35 and maybe be comfortable. The 33, instead of maybe having to get to the 29, the 28, before you actually feel comfortable bringing out the boot. This one touched a, an upman. It's gathered at the 42. And that's Trevathan that jumped on it. Uh, if you didn't see the kick meter on the last... Field goal. It was pretty good. It wasn't. It wasn't perfect because we didn't see the. Uh, but I know the folks at home did not see the kick meter. It was pretty true. It was almost right there on the line. So we got a three-point ball game with 2:46 to go. Right now, in my opinion, this is Monster's game to lose. Yeah, because of that shallow kick, he really only needs about 30 yards here before he's in field goal range. But we can make that about 37 after Jason Taylor comes off the edge. Huge sack by Taylor. That's going to bring up a second and 17. Ball at the 35-yard line. We'll get Snuggy over to the right with Jones, Owens, also Amari Cooper over there. Now in the longer down situations, uh, maybe look forward to Monster oh boy. putting Ricky on a uh, table route. I know he's got the elite 
uh, Kim specialist, the elite route specialist on that Ricky down there, uh, but kept him in the block on third and 17, uh, which didn't work and became third and 27. Uh, just maybe pay attention to the table right out of the backfield. Curse the freak going nuts here. Back to back sacks. And Barry Sanders looking like he was in the 84 ice skating Olympics. Actually, they didn't have the Olympics in 84. That was the Summer Olympics. Where, where am I? I don't know. But you're, you're pirouetting all over the field. That's not going to get it done. No, the triple sow cow in the backfield there was not the move. He threw the table right, route. Go, uh, suspect did a good job of clicking onto that defender and backing him up so he couldn't get faked out by the spin. Uh, good offense, better defense. Yeah, I got no idea where they were in 1982 for the Winter Olympics. They throw it to the outside, and Julio. One-handed drop, no good. And again, I don't necessarily think he had to high pass that. He had him beat. He maybe could have led it to the sidelines, maybe a, a pass lead up and out. Um, because you get hit just a little too much with those high passes, in my opinion. Double tied in here on first and 10. Suspects got the ball back at the 30 after the turnover on downs. They have that monster, and whoo, it's a big hit fumble that suspect is lucky to recover. You see shotgun big, and you run commit automatically. Great recognition by Monster there. Just didn't quite get the result he wanted. Did get the two-minute warning. Though. Got the fumble. The ball was on the ground. Couldn't pick it up. Just fall right into the hands of alignment for suspect. Clock stopped at the two-minute warning. Here we go. McNabb wrestled down at the 30-yard line. That's going to count as a rush. That will not be a sack, but it'll be third and ten. Monster doing everything he can here to hold him to three, make it just a touchdown game, give himself a chance to go down there and get on a guap drive. Two down territory here if you're suspect. All right, do you, do you settle you got, for three? Or? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to get a first down here, but if it comes fourth down, I'm kicking it. You got to force Monster to go to the length of the field. 3-3-5 three, three, normal again. Third and ten. McNabb, open window, and there's a first down down at the 17. Clock on the move. One timeout left, a 30-second play clock. That's just about going to do it. Uh, Monsta, if he can get maybe an incomplete pass, uh, maybe get lucky and somehow get a... Uh, I, if he's going to kneel the ball, there's not much that's going to happen here. He's going to have gonna, to use timeout here. He's going to take his three... Probably kick the ball. I don't think it's going to matter. Second and 11 now. Victory formation again. He'll run it all the way down. And I don't think Monster's going to use it. You figure even if you use it, he kicks a field goal. You can sky kick it, probably still bleed all the time off the clock. This is close to a white flag without it being a white flag. I've seen waved in a while here. And he will just hand it over. Wow. There's some love, but for the first time in three years, Monsta is not going to be representing the 49ers. It's suspect that in the end gets glitchy, and he'll be moving on to the final to either face Niner or Samoa's Finest. For the first time ever, it will not be 